Hello everyone, it's Pika Hong here, and today I am back once again with another cosplay review from Genshin Impact. This time around, I ordered a Venti cosplay. Now let's jump right into it. To start off, I'm going to be reviewing his shirt. The material is not too soft yet, not too hard. And here I'll show you the close up of his sleeves and the way that it was designed, all the way up to his cuff. I would also like to mention that the seller that I bought this cosplay from does customize size and yes this was customized towards my size. And here is the karat that has the little pin on it. Which is where you're supposed to pin it to the neck as I show in the video. So while trying to pin it on, this part fell off, but it is easy to put it back on. I just was struggling with it and it did surprise me. Next up, I'll show you his waist binder and here's the detail on the back of it. On the side, there is a zipper. The material for his pants is very soft and shiny, and here is the detail on the bottom. I noticed that this part isn't completely sewn in, and I'm guessing that's how it is. And here are two of his socks. There is elastic band at the top as you can see. And because it's a little bit more longer than my leg, I may have to uh, readjust it a bit. I may have to sew these other pieces at the bottom right here as you can see because it's flopping around. And here are the two cuffs that goes on his sleeves. On the inside there is velcro. And one of my favorite part is his vision pendant made from resin and then there's the two little puffy ball with the feathers. But sadly the back side of the pin did fall off during transit. I will have to glue it back on again. And here's a little pinwheel accessory that you attach to the shorts. And this is the reason why I like this cosplay because I don't like it being printed onto the pants and it's the actual pinwheel that you attach. Up next, we have the necklace, which is very light and it's not heavy at all. Next up, we have his cape, which is very shiny and it's also pretty smooth when you touch it. And at first, I thought it was gonna slide off of my shoulder when I wore it, but actually it didn't slide at all. It stayed onto my shoulder the whole time. If you guys want to see the full cosplay, wig and everything worn correctly, I'll be posting a short dance cover of Patchwork, Patchwork Staccato sung by the Chinese voice actor of Venti. And I'll be leaving the link to that video down below in the description as well as at the end of this video. I hope you guys do check it out. As mentioned before, the pin on the badge fell off so I couldn't pin it on for this video. But this is what it's supposed to look like. And this piece right here, I didn't realize when I first got this cosplay, but you are supposed to pin it on the back of his cape. And finally, we have his hat. Here's what it looks like. And at the bottom, there's two pins opposite of each other. There's one under this flower, and then there's one right across from this flower as well. But I don't show it in the video. And here is the full cosplay. And I know I may have worn some of these wrong, but I'll fix it next time. Here's a closer look at the detail on the inside of the cape. There's nothing else I can complain about except for the sleeve which kept on sliding. But other than that, I give this cosplay a 9.5 out of 10. And the shipping was also pretty fast as well. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, so if you made it this far, I have an update. So there is another company that makes this very same cosplay but for a much more cheaper price. This is by Cosfun and I will leave the link to that website thanks to another review video that I found on YouTube.